What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with sort of a fantasy booking style video, man. I was thinking about this the other day, man. These these thoughts hit me in the middle of the night, man. I'll wake up in the middle of the night and something will hit me in the brain and I'm like, you know what, Brad? I think I need to tell the people about this one. And so that's kind of the case here today, man, as we are today going to be diving into kind of a fantasy booking style lineup. You guys know that in the, I feel like lately, the last couple of years for sure, Mattel has been on a kick where they are re-releasing figures more than ever, man. Figures that we have seen over the years, maybe ever since Mattel started, you know, over a decade ago, we have started to see more and more figures re-released. We've seen the same figures coming again. I mean, we're even getting it in the Ultimate Edition line, and it hasn't even been that long since Ultimate Editions first arrived on the scene for us. So, I mean, you look at the Ultimate Editions, man. We have the Ultimate Edition Best of Bret Hart and Triple H. Then you had the Ultimate Edition Best of Stone Cold Steve Austin and Ultimate Warrior. And then you had, you know, all the Greatest Hits figures, right? We have the Greatest Hits series coming soon, or we've already seen a couple sets of it. And we even have a third set coming that has eight figures in it. And then you throw on top of that, you have the Best of Legends set that's going to be Target exclusive. So they are re-releasing figures that we have seen over and over again. And I know a lot of people don't like it. A lot of people like it. You know, there's I feel like there is some give and take there. There's definitely money to be made by Mattel in the space because these figures are getting a little bit of update. You know, they're getting true effects. They're getting double jointed arms. And they are better than their original counterparts, even though they don't have the originality. They don't have, you know, sort of the nostalgia that you might see. I mean, I guess they kind of do because they look like the figure, but they are a different version of it. They don't have the original packaging of the original figure, you know, different things like that. But today I figured I could dive into a fantasy booking greatest hits line and a fantasy booking legends line, like a best of legend style, target exclusive style set. So I want to dive into my greatest hit set first and then I'll get into my legend set and then you guys can say that sucks or you can say, you know what, Brad, I'd be all in for this. This sounds good. Or you can leave your own fantasy booking lineup down in the comments section below. Now, getting into my Greatest Hits set, man, starting out first, we have already seen this superstar in the Greatest Hits way. However, I feel like they made the wrong selection the first time, which we'll get into, but the Greatest Hits, the first figure in my set, is going to be Elite 2 Batista, man. I love this figure. I always love the Elite 2 Batista. I feel like it's very classic. You could throw that referee shirt in there. It would come full circle with our referee figures that we're getting. It's just, I don't know, it just makes the most sense here. Uh, Batista was in the last Greatest Hits set, but it was Blue Tista, which a lot of people found very confusing didn't know. Nobody knew what the hell that was doing in there. However, Elite 2 Batista would have been a much better option. And you could even throw Elite 6 Batista in there if you wanted to. I think either of those figures would suffice for me, but Batista has to be in my set. We don't get enough damn Batistas, Brad. Next up in my set is going to be Elite 8 William Regal. Yes, Elite 8 William Regal, a figure he only has two Elites, and I think that's it in the entire history of his Mattel days. And he is signed to WWE right now. I don't know the lengths of his contract. I don't know what's going on there, but Elite 8 William Regal, I feel like they could swing that, man. I feel like that'd be a great addition, a figure that a lot of people missed out on. A lot of people don't get their hands on this one. I feel like it's a pretty rare figure to come by as well. I think Elite 8 William Regal would fit perfectly into the Greatest Hits line. It's a great figure also. It just looks great. Formula's great. Throw the double-jointed arms in there. True effects. And where's our damn suited William Regal? You're telling me you can't give me a Build-A-Figure suited William Regal? You can't give me a suited William Regal in general? You can't give me an other updated suited general manager style William Regal from NXT. I mean, there's just a lot of things that we have not gotten out of William Regal, so that would be a great asset to me, would be Elite 8 William Regal. Next up is Elite 13 Edge. Great thing here, man. I mean, I know that it would probably have the rubber jacket. It probably wouldn't look the best, but this is a figure you could head swap with the Legends figure from the Target exclusive line, and this is a great figure that should be re-released. You know, it's been a long time since we saw this figure. We don't have a lot of Edge and Christian edges. This is literally the only one one in elite figure form pretty much. This is the one to get. I mean, I guess you could say that Legends and the Chase works, but this is your definitive Edge and Christian Edge. And we only have one, man. Go, let's. We need to fix that. I think this is a great addition to our Greatest Hits line. And then we also have a pair of tag teams here. Not a pair of tag teams, but a tag team. And I went with Elite Six Shad and Elite Six JTG. We have Elite Crime Time here. Figures that are very hard to come by, especially complete with their accessories. Rest in peace to the Legends. Shad, that would also be a nice benefit to it there, is we would get a new figure to sort of commemorate him and his career in WWE. Would be beautiful to see. I would love to see Crime Time. I always loved them growing up, and I always liked them, you know, and I even got to meet JTG out at WrestleMania for LA at WrestleMania 39, so this would be perfect for me. I always enjoyed these guys, and their figures are so toyetic, man. You have the bulletproof vest, you have the hat, you have the jersey for Shad, you have their Tims on there. They have really unique molds that we have not seen again on these guys. 
these guys. So this is a no-brainer for me to have these guys in there. And they even had a battle pack at one point, but these guys need new elites, man. These guys need new elites. And I know, again, it's all about the deals and who they can do and stuff like that. But I feel like they could swing that, man. You can't tell me they couldn't do a Greatest Hits Elite gr Crime Time figures to pair in our Greatest Hits set. This would be a no-brainer for me. And I only put six figures in the set. I feel like eight is a bit much when you're talking about Greatest Hits. So I only have one more figure remaining in my Greatest Hits line. And that is going to be the Defining Moments John Cena, the first version. Not the second version. The second version was dog just dog garbage, man. Dog water garbage awfulness. I know what I said. It was not good. It, it just not good, even though I bought a lot of them when they first came out, just because it was all we really had at the time to represent that. It was mainly for the armbands. Hated the jersey. Hated the head sculpt. It was, I love the visor. I mean, there were some good things about that figure, but we're talking about the first go around Defining Moments John Cena. One of my favorite Mattels of all time. You could update it with the double jointed arms. The head sculpt would be better. It would just be a lot better figure. Uh, obviously, they're going to give them the same shoe mold. They're going to give them the same jersey, even though the jersey's kind of small. And it doesn't, you know, have Spears St. Louis jersey. And it doesn't have the right name on it. It's got to say Cena on it for all the different reasons and licenses. However, it would still be a beautiful figure. I think it would be nice to see that updated. And, uh, you know, just give us a little bit of bells and whistles. And it would be pretty nostalgic for me to see that. And I think this is a good addition. I think having a black jersey. George John Cena with the chain. And they could even do the sculpted bands. They could give them the sculpted bands. They don't have to do the painted on armbands like they did back then. They could give them the sculpted ones. It would fit in with the updates, you know, quote unquote, that they said, you know, true effects, double jointed arms, sculpted on gauntlets or wristbands could be a swing. But let's dive into my legend set, man. That's my first greatest hits line. My greatest hits line is Elite 2 Batista, Elite 8 William Regal, Elite 13 Edge, Elite 6 Crime Time, and Defining Moments John Cena. Now in my legend set, now in my legend Legends set, I would have the Defining Moments Triple H to start off my set. This is a no-brainer, man. You go back and look at this figure. This is one of my favorite Mattels of all time as well. Great head sculpt, great cloth goods. The jacket on this thing is insane. The sleeveless shirt is insane. He even came with jeans, and he had the iconic gear underneath which we have never seen before on an elite figure again. They could have done they could do this in an ultimate edition redo. I think there's so many options there, but this figure is a no-brainer for a re-release of some kind. Whether it's in the ultimate edition line like upgraded with interchangeable jacket arms and like blue jean shorts, I don't know. There's definitely ways you could do it. However, the Defining Moments Triple H is absolute money. It, it's just a no-brainer for me. Just had to be in my seat. Next up is Ringside Exclusive Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, this one's kind of good because it's not too, too crazy. It's just a repaint of the vest. You could give us the red vest with the classic WrestleMania Elite Stone Cold Steve Austin formula. Give him the head sculpt, you know, the smiling head sculpt. Or you could give him that new Ultimate Edition head sculpt. I know they don't like to change stuff, but they've tweaked figures, man. They say they give us the exact same figure, but they've tweaked head sculpts. They've tweaked arm sculpts and things for this line already. So they could easily do it here with a ringside exclusive Stone Cold Steve Austin. I think it would be fantastic. And it would sell. People want this, man. People want this figure. They want the Defining Moments Triple H. People want these figures, man. So I think these are no-brainers. If you want to pump out money, bro, this is the way to do it. Next up is going to be the Legends Rick Martell, man. Legends Greatest Hits or Legends Best of Rick Martell. This is obviously a no-brainer as well. This figure goes for like $150 with all of his accessories just loose. So I think that this one is a no-brainer. I mean, I'm sure they probably can't even make Rick Martell at this juncture, but it's certainly worth mentioning. It's certainly worth putting out there and saying it. And if, you know, I guess if this is fantasy booking, I tried to be as realistic as possible. And I feel like they probably would have already given us a Rick Martell if it was able to be done, but I figured I'd throw him in here. I mean, you're looking at a smash hit set right now for my Legends Greatest Hits Wave or my Best of Legends set. This Rick Mortel figure easily needs a redo. And just like my Greatest Hits Wave, we are throwing it back to another tag team style here in my Legends Best of, and I went with the Hall of Fame 4-pack Hall and Nash, so both of the figures in the jeans. I think that these would be great, and you don't really have to pick these versions of the guys, but, I mean, you have Elite 16 Kevin Nash. You could do the ringside exclusive NWO Scott Hall. You could do the other ringside exclusive Kevin Nash. There's so many options there. They've obviously made multiple Scott Halls, multiple Kevin Nashes that could be made, but I still like this as an option. And I know a lot of people are going to say, you know, like all these exclusives, but they've had plenty of exclusives that have been included in these Legends Greatest Hits lines. And I think these are two solid additions, man. And then my last figure, which is completely realistic of Mattel, but I did throw this one in there, man. The American-made ringside exclusive Hulk Hogan. And I don't think ringside collectibles is probably going to really want two of their ringside exclusives here, but they're two figures that are highly sought after, and I think they would easily make this. And even if Hulk Hogan 
Hogan isn't in the light blue. Like, obviously, we got the Rip figure, but I think they could easily do the Hulk Hogan in the blue trunks. And that is one that I'm actually missing. I'm missing that Hulk Hogan. So I would go with American-made Hulk Hogan ringside exclusive. Had so many opportunities to order this figure, and now, you know, I obviously... I did the same thing with the Defining Moments Hulk Hogan. I passed on it for ever at my Kmart. It was shelf warming like hell. Same thing with the Razor. I ended up getting the Razor later on down the line, but so many different opportunities, and I think I've owned the figure multiple times as well, but I always would sell it or break it down or do different things with it, so that has happened to a, a, quite a number of figures, actually, in my lifetime with my collecting journey with Mattel WWE figures, man, but I would like to know down in the comment section below what you think of my greatest hits and my Legends Wave. So my Legends Wave recap is Defining Moments Triple H, Ringside Exclusive Stone Cold, the Bionic Redneck version. You have the Rick Martell you have the four-pack Hall, the four-pack Nash, and you have the American-made Hogan ringside exclusive, man. That is my full list of fantasy booking, the greatest hits elites, and the best of legend sets, man. I would love to know down below what your personal lists are and also what you think of mine. Do you think they're shish? Let me know. If you think they're great, would you purchase these? Are you all in on these? Which one would you purchase? Which one would you skip? I'd like to know, man. But that is going to wrap it up, man. Huge shout-out to our patron supporters of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys so very much. If you guys are interested, check out the link in the description below for that of course but that is going to wrap up our video for today man thank you guys so very much for watching i'd love to know down below man still in works with the with the office setup man my schedule is just so rampant right now so i do apologize for that soon we will be back fully in the office with everything set up and i can't wait to do it an updated room tour and things like that got to get some shelves got put up got to get some different things going on but it should be worth it when it's all said and done man but i'm getting out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i'll catch you guys later have a blessed one and i'll see you later